Today's video gives you the chance to become an epic presenter as I show you the eight best webinar chat strategies. Today's video is the third of a series of five and it's all about engagement. The previous videos have introduced the importance of webinar engagement and the different types of chat systems. If you missed the previous video, you might want to flick it on the link down below and have a look at that video before watching this one. But today it's all about the strategies and I'm going to present to you eight strategies about how you can create epic webinar engagement using chat. Let's get started. The first of the eight best webinar chat strategies is to let your participants know that the chat is where it's at. Seriously, tell them that it's okay to use the chat and encourage them to use the chat. Do that early, as soon as you get on the webinar, ideally before the start time. Tell people that you want them to use the chat and encourage them. Create that prompt for people to use the chat. Now the number two strategy is to follow up by using the chat yourself. Don't just leave it to your participants to create the chat discussions. Get in there yourself, it's a powerful tool. Ask a question in the chat. Get in there and make a comment about something. Respond to something that somebody else says. Use the chat and use it early and use it often. The third strategy is to help you in doing that and that is to have a pre-prepared list of chat comments. So before you start the webinar, it could be a week before the webinar, just create a template of ideas of things that you're going to comment on during the chat. This is something I've been doing for a long time and it's very successful. It makes it really easy for me to start questions and comments and that engagement in the chat is by copying and pasting from a little text file or Microsoft Word document, which it, whatever your choice is, and just copying and pasting from that pre-prepared file into the chat. It takes about three seconds and it is magical and will help stimulate a lot more engagement, a lot more chat participation. The fourth of the best webinar chat strategies is to get help. You don't have to be the one taking the lead on the chat. Now I know I already mentioned earlier that it's great for you to get involved and you should certainly look to do that certainly early in your presentation, but I do understand that it can be difficult for you to get into the chat on a regular basis when you're working with your slides, when you're focusing on what you're saying, when you're reading the comments and responding to others. So get a helper. Now it might be someone who works with you, who wants to come on and help you with the webinar, or it could be people who've already registered that you already know. It's a very powerful thing. If you've got a regular on your webinars, to just thank them for their participation and tell them that you're glad that they're coming to the webinar and you hope that they're gonna get involved in the chat. You do that with two or three key people, perhaps before the webinar, when you see them register, you can reply and say, oh, it's great, Mary, that you're gonna be on the webinar. I'm really looking forward to you contributing in the chat like you always do. Very excited to see you there. Or tell them that at the start of the chat, in, in the pre-webinar, if you like, before beyond when you log into the webinar, before when it formally starts. And when you see that person go into the chat, go in and thank them for coming and tell them that then. You can either do that publicly or privately, whatever is appropriate for you and whatever you think that your participant may prefer. Now the next webinar chat strategy is to ask questions. Ask lots of questions. And in fact, in two weeks time, the final of this series on engagement is all about questions because questions is critical to securing engagement between you and your participant. So in that the fifth of the series, you'll see I talk a lot about the different types of questions and many of those questions you can use to stimulate chat. You can ask questions say, look, give us an answer through the chat, tell us what you're thinking. Ask those questions and deliberately solicit those responses. Now the next of the strategies is to invite your participants to ask their questions using the chat. Don't presume that they're going to do that unless you invite them to do it. And better still, rather than just relying upon them asking their questions, 
invite them to answer questions as well and to respond to others' comments. So if somebody asks a question, you're going to be busy, you might not have an answer straight away, you might not know the answer, but there's a chance that somebody else in the chat already knows the answer to that question. So invite people to ask questions and respond to the questions of others. And this leads me to the next one. Number seven in the list is to be social and to create a social environment in your chat. Don't hesitate to invite people to chat, to talk with each other and to be social. Now that is very, very powerful. Can you imagine that people might want to come back to your chats and sorry, come back to your webinars because they had such a good time because of the other people they interacted with and the other people they chatted with? I've seen this happen over and over again with successful webinar presenters. Don't just rely upon yourself as being the hero and the person that they're going to want to come and see do a webinar again. If you can build up a community and a tribe of people who come to your webinars on a regular basis, they will want to come and hang out with their friends. They won't want to miss out. And the only way that you're going to be able to make that happen is by, by creating that social aspect, by encouraging your webinar participants to interact with each other. And number eight on the list, the final one, is to thank people. Thank people, call them out and congratulate them and tell, you, tell them that you appreciate them when they get involved in the chat. Oh, John, that was a great question. Thank you for asking that question in the chat. Here's my answer. Oh, Mary, thank you very much for responding to John's question. Really appreciate that. Only takes a second, but that recognition, that thank you element is very important. So there we are, eight ways, eight, that you can create terrific webinar engagement through using chat. Oh, he's a superhero today. If you're a regular of these videos, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. But today I wanna to tell you about something that's not video content. Do you sometimes wish when you're in the car, or on the gym, or in the shower, that you wish you had something to listen to so you could learn about webinars more effectively? If you're a webinar fanatic like I am, and you want to get the chance to take advantage of those opportunities to do more learning, then there's a podcast for you, the Webinar Skills Podcast, hosted by yours truly. And I'm very excited about the Webinar Skills Podcast. It's only just been recently released, and it's going great. So if you want the chance to listen to top class webinar presenters like John Lee Dumas, like Rick Mulready, like Joe Daniel, like George Cow and Kate Erickson, then tune into the Webinar Skills Podcast. You'll find it on iTunes or Stitcher Radio. Search for it, Webinar Skills Podcast, or click the link below to go to the Webinar Skills Podcast. Please have a listen to one of the episodes. I hope you love it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on the best webinar chat strategies. Now, chances are I've missed some. Chances are that you've got a golden nugget locked away that you've been using, and I would love to hear it. So below this, chat, below this video, in the comments, please tell us, what have I forgotten? What's your cunning strategy for creating webinar chat engagement? Please let me know and let our community know using the comments below. In either case, Thank you for watching this video and never take your support for granted. Please subscribe and have an awesome day. Welcome to Webinar Chat 101. Today's video is the second in the series about webinar engagement. Now if you take experienced webinar presenters and ask them what's their top 